the breakfast club, bitches. You can call me the donkey of the day, but like, I mean. <clears throat> donkey of the day for Tuesday, February 1st. First day of Black History Month. Goes to 30-year-old Eric Popper of Florida. Florida, Florida, Florida. What does Yonka Shaw always say about the great state of Florida? The craziest people in America come from the Bronx and all of Florida. See, Florida always does the most. And I'm a stern believer that folks who accuse you uh, of doing too much usually aren't doing much at all. But that is not the case with Florida. All right. Folks in Florida really do t- do too much. OK, y'all do. All right. It's OK. I'm not judging. I'm lying. I'm judging. But I'm a God. I'm a God, not the God. So it doesn't matter if I'm judging because only God can judge you. OK, can I get an amen? Amen. Amen. Now, Eric Popper experienced something that so many folks experience on the daily, and that something is road rage. Look at God. Look at God. Look at God. I just heard an amazing sermon by Bishop the Drip Jakes this past Sunday titled Road Rage. Drop on the clues bombs for Bishop T.D. Jakes. Bishop the Drip was speaking on, uh, he uh, was speaking on... Um, well, actually, we'll get to that in a moment. But what, but what is road rage? The dictionary definition is violent anger caused by the stress and frustration involved in driving a motor vehicle in difficult conditions. Key word, anger. A lot of folks is projecting in these situations. And what happens on the road is just their latest trigger. See, a lot of people don't really be mad at you. They are mad about something that is going on with them. Okay, they are mad about something that is going on in their life. So they project that pain and hurt and frustration onto you. Eric Popper. He's got the right last name because he was popping that thing. And by thing, I don't mean that ass. I mean a firearm. Let's go to GMA3 for the news report, please. The video is wild. This driver opening fire during the morning rush in Miami. All of this caught on the driver's own dash cam. Now he's facing two felony charges. According to the arrest report, 30-year-old Eric Popper cut off another driver who then started tailgating and honking. Moments later, he reaches inside the car's center console and pulls out a handgun. The other driver catches up and according to the report, he throws an unknown object hitting Popper's car. Popper opens fire, later telling police he thought he was being shot at despite the other driver not having a gun. All his anger. This is why road rage will never be that serious to me, all right? Eric cut off a driver, Mm -hmm. so he's in the wrong, right? Cause and effect. Driver then threw something at Eric while he passed him. So Eric decided to escalate the situation more by pulling out a handgun and letting off like Soldier Boy on Vlad TV. Bow, bow, bow. Papa said he thought he was the one being shot at, and that's why he started shooting at the other driver. However, the other driver was not armed. All right, Eric's attorney said that what Eric did was self-defense and he was justified in pulling out his gun. I'm not an attorney, so I have no idea if what he did was legally justified or not. I understand why he got angry, though. But if you're a person of integrity, you should say to yourself, you know what? I caused that. All right, you cut that person off. Did the person escalate it by throwing something at your car? Yes. But then did you escalate it even more by pulling out your gun and letting the hammer ham? Yes. See, the reason I don't purposely cut people off is because what if that person didn't throw a cup at Eric? What if that person had a gun themselves? All right, clearly the person who threw the cup was angry as well, but what if they were angry enough to have a firearm and shot at you instead of throwing a cup? See, all I see when I see situations like this is anger. All right, hurt, pain, nobody caring about the next person, nobody treating, you know, people with just simple human respect. What happened to the golden rule that we learned in kindergarten? Do unto others as you would have them do unto you, okay? You know why that is all out the window? Because everyone is angry. All right. According to AAA in 2019, road rage contributed to around 30 deaths right here in America annually. Okay. Plus nearly 80 percent of drivers have expressed some form of aggression behind the wheel at least once in the last 30 days. Road rage can lead to both criminal and civil charges being filed against the person. And the key word in road rage is rage. Anger. And where is that anger stemming from? That's why Bishop T.D. Jakes used road rage as a metaphor for people and how they deal with their anger. Don't listen to me, though. Okay? You're going to get this word directly from the bishop himself. Roll it. You've been an angry man all of your life, and everything you lost, your temper took it from you. And this is not gender specific. There are as many angry women as there are angry men. 
and you cannot enjoy today because you're still angry about yesterday. And I am calling it road rage. Road rage is any rage that is triggered by the journey. If you have something that triggers you on your journey, you have road rage. And if you don't deal with your road rage, you're going to cancel out your opportunities. Road rage will make you climb out of a car and not thinking, run back and snatch somebody through a window, not thinking whether they have a gun or not. Road rage makes you make dumb decisions. How many decisions have you made out of road rage? Sometimes you're angry with people who aren't even here anymore. Mm, 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 mm. Who are you really angry with? Huh? Who are you really angry with, Eric? Deal with your trauma before your trauma deals with you and have you out here bleeding on people who didn't cut you. Please let Remy Ma give Eric Popper the biggest hee-haw. Hee-haw, hee-haw, you stupid mother Are you dumb. Quick question. Yes, ma'am. He taped himself? No, it was a, I don't know. It was a dash cam. I don't know who yeah, dash cam Yeah, but it was his was. own dash cam. He released his own dash cam of him shooting at somebody illegally? I don't know. I just saw the thing say dash cam footage. Let me see. Yeah, he did, he I, did turn himself in. Yeah, but he, he... I wouldn't... You wouldn't do that. Yeah, you're going to snitch on yourself totally? Here's the know. video of me shooting? It just said dash cam video recorded the yeah, harrowing scene. dash cam. Maybe it was someone else's dash Maybe cam. Maybe it was somebody else's dash no, cam. No, it was he. I seen the video. He's in the car shooting. Oh. And it's his camera. I don't know. Don't be stepping on Bishop T.D. Jakes. That wasn't the moral of the story of whether or not uh -huh. he recorded his damn self. Uh -huh. The moral of the story was oh, this man got a whole bunch of anger, okay, and, and unresolved trauma clearly that he hasn't dealt with. All right? This is just pain being projected on other people. All right. Well, let's right? open up the phone lines because maybe we all do what we all had at one time. 800-585-1051. Your crazy road rage stories. All right? You don't have to leave a name. You don't have to tell us where you're from. You don't have to snitch out on yourself like homie did. But let, let us know. I used to carry a big thing of pennies in the car. A cup of pennies. And if somebody cut me off, brah, throw it all on somebody's car. Mm-mm-mm. I want to press charges against you now it's for not that. Worth it. Who but can we? That got to be some type of charge. That was a long time ago. If, if you've ever been hit by a bunch of pennies <laughs> anywhere in Queens or in the New York area, that was a long time. You ago. might be entitled to compensation. That was a long time. If it ago. was a long time ago, a long time ago. Eight hundred five eight five one zero five one. Your road rage story. Somebody cut you off and then look at you or flip you the finger. What you done did? I can't believe you threw a whole cup of pennies at me. About people. all the time. I used to just keep. You've been wasting money. Brah. Donkey today is brought to you by the law office of Michael S. Lamisoff. Don't be a donkey. Dial pound 250 on your cell and say the bull if you've been hurt in a construction accident. That's pound 250 from your cell and say the bull.